Rockstar just announced that the Diamond Casino and Resort is going to be coming in just a few short days. So if you need help gearing up for that, check out G2A with the link in the description and use cashback code BOSS if you want to save a little bit extra as well. Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's GTA 5 video, we're going to be taking a look at the new vehicles, supercars, aircrafts, and more that so far have been shown off in the Diamond and Casino and Resort update that will be coming to GTA Online in just a couple of days on Tuesday, July 23rd. So let's start with the vehicle that we know the most information on so far, and that is the Trufade Thrax Supercar. So not only did Rockstar confirm the name of this vehicle, they also gave us the best in-depth screenshot that we've seen so far. So let's take a look at this right here. And this vehicle is incredible looking. So it's another Trufade car, which means that it is based off of the real-life hypercar manufacturer Bugatti. Now, this vehicle most closely resembles the Bugatti Devo, which is their newest supercar that they actually just released. So this screenshot actually does show off a lot. The first thing that I noticed was the custom rims. Rockstar liked to do this a lot, especially on high-end supercars, where they will add like a non-purchasable set of custom default rims. Those look amazing. The other thing I noticed here is that it looks like that center cap with the Trufade T is red. I'm pretty sure that's going to match the primary color or the secondary color of the car itself, so that will probably change there. It looks like there's definitely going to be a front bumper option as well. That certainly does not look like the default one. On the grill, you can also see in sort of that diamond pattern, that is also colored red. I'm pretty sure that is a customization option. I almost am confident that the hood of the car it is customizable too, as it looks like that is a sportier upgrade. And you can also see a spoiler on the back, which is pretty cool. Now, the other thing I noticed here is the colors of the French flag. You'll also see this on the Bugatti Devo as well. So I'm pretty sure this is Rockstar just basically doing the exact same thing on that car, how it has the French flag colors sort of on the lower panel. Uh, after all, Bugatti is a French car manufacturer. So that is a pretty cool detail right there. Now, that screenshot is not the only time in which we see this vehicle. It's also shown a lot throughout the trailer. So we see it in the first five seconds, really. It's sitting on that center platform. Now, what's interesting is this vehicle in particular has been confirmed to be like the top reward for the lucky wheel. So Rockstar says that you can spin the lucky wheel in the lobby for chips, cash, and clothing, or even the new Trufade Thrax supercar that can be found whirling on the podium during opening week. So I don't know if this supercar is going to remain there every single week, or if this is something that Rockstar is going to change out like they do premium races and time trials and other events that happen in online. But at least for the first week, it's going to be on that podium, which is really, really cool. This vehicle is also apparently going to be used in one of the missions that is involved in the casino as it gets stolen by someone. Uh, it literally gets driven right out of the middle of the casino. Now, this also allows us to see a couple of more things about this vehicle, like we can see the interior just a little bit. We can also see those really cool rims, and it also gives us a chance to look at the back of the vehicle, which looks outstanding, by the way. I'm not sure if that's an exhaust upgrade or if it has those triple exhausts by default. You can also see those carbon fiber vents above the uh, rear wheel arches. Those look really great, too. So I am so thrilled about this vehicle, and we also see it a little bit later on uh, in the rain driving past all those bikes. Now, if you're wondering if those are new bikes, I'm sure we were going to get questions about that. Uh, the answer is no. Those are all Hakachus. Uh, I think some are Hakachu drags as well. So those are not new bikes. We have had those in the game for a good bit now. But the Trufade Thrax right there is definitely new, and uh, that's going to be one of the more exciting vehicles to come about. So that is the first car right there. The next vehicles we actually get a look at in the trailer. And let's move on to another supercar, and that is going to be another Progen vehicle. Now, we don't know the name of this Progen vehicle, but we know what its real-life equivalent is, and that is the McLaren Senna. So the McLaren Senna is sort of like a 
hybrid track car street legal vehicle. It's super cool looking. It has this massive wing on the back. And because we know it's in the McLaren family, it's likely going to be based off of Progen in game. And we see this a couple of times throughout the trailer. Uh, it all seems to have the same livery on there, which is like this futuristic honeycomb mind mock GT design. Uh, I think it looks awesome. Uh, there's a lot of customization options that I can see on this vehicle. Like, I'm pretty sure the spoiler will be a customization option. Uh, there's a ton of different skirts and fender upgrades that I already see on there. So it looks like we're going to be able to do a lot. Liveries, of course. This is going to be amazing. So right off the bat, we've already seen two supercars. One based off of Bugatti and the other based off of McLaren, which is really, really cool. So that's the second vehicle right there. The third vehicle is this purple Ocelot vehicle. It almost looks like the Hijack Rustin. That's like the, the first thing that came to my head when I saw this vehicle is that we're just basically getting another Hijack Rustin. And I had a hard time figuring out what this car was actually going to be or what it was based off of. Well, it turns out that it's actually based off of a Lotus vehicle, the Lotus 211 which looks very similar to this. So you can see it has that fun spoiler on the back. It has the uh, roll cage on there. It's sort of a topless car. So that's why I'm saying it kind of reminds me of the Hijack Rustin. So I feel like it's it's going to have that sort of vibe. I think the Hijack Rustin got like a super bad rap. That was a really fun car to drive. And I think this one's going to be super fun too. Uh, I can already see a handful of customization options on here. Like I guarantee you adding more roll cages will be a customization option. Looks like there's upgrades on the hood. Looks like there's some splitters on the front fender there. So lots of different upgrades right there uh, that I can potentially see. This just looks like a fun, like cool sports car to ride around. And I, I, at least I think it's going to be a sports car. So that's our new Ocelot vehicle. We also have a new Obey vehicle as well that can be seen many, many times throughout the trailer. And it's sort of like this orange car with this yellowish black graffiti style livery. It looks amazing. Uh, there's a couple of things that I have noticed, at least customization wise. The first thing is a nifty set of custom rims. That looks awesome. So just like the Trufate Thrax, this has its own set of custom unpurchasable rims. There's also a spoiler on there that I've noticed too. It's kind of like a ducktail spoiler. Uh, I've, we see some exhaust upgrades as well. And you can't forget about the livery too. Uh, I don't know what sort of livery design this is, but uh, it confirms that there's going to be more types of liveries on this vehicle. Now, a lot of people have been wondering what type of vehicle this is based off of. We know that Obey is in the Audi family. If I had to take a guess, knowing that Rockstar likes to combine multiple cars to create their in-game vehicles, it looks like a combination of an Audi TT RS and like an RS3 or an RS5. That would just be my best guess. Again, it's kind of like a combination of all of those, if I'm being real honest with you here. And we've seen Rockstar do that in the past where they, you know, sort of combine multiple vehicles to make one in-game. So that is our fourth one that can be seen. The fifth one that can be seen is very interesting because it's a brand new in-game car brand. And that is this Viser vehicle. So it's this green car with like the silver gradient livery on there. And this is actually based off of the Spiker C8, which is one of the most unique sports cars in the world. Like they only made a limited production run of them. They are super, super unique. So it seems as if Rockstar went about adding this into the game. And it is a brand new car manufacturer. I think the last car manufacturer that Rockstar added in the game was Progen, and now we're getting a new one, Viser. That's really cool. I'm glad Rockstar didn't try to like stick this into another car family. I'm glad they sort of added its own. And we can see a couple of different shots here from the front and the back. It looks like there's going to be tons of grill options, hood options, lots of liveries. It looks like there's options for the roof of the car too. This is going to be very, very exciting. It's a unique looking vehicle, that's for sure. And I don't know if it's going to fit into the supercar category or the sports car category. I guess we'll just kind of have to wait and see for when the update arrives. So I believe that those are all the new vehicles that Rockstar have added in this update. However, there are some other screenshots that Rockstar have showed off that might get people a little bit confused. 
So for example, some of the other vehicles we saw, like this helicopter right here, this is the Buckingham Volatus. This is not a new helicopter that is taking off of the rooftop of the Diamond Casino and Resort. This has been here for a bit, so don't confuse that for a new aircraft. Also, all of the vehicles that you see here in this garage spot, or garage screenshot, I should say, all of them are old, like the Banshee and the Infernus and the Phoenix. All of those are older vehicles. None of them are new. Now, one interesting thing is the valet service actually shows off like a handful of limos. And at first glance, I thought these limos were completely normal. However, take a look at the difference between this black one right here that has the uh, normal set of turn signals. You can see like the orange. And then this one right here, it's this white limo that has like blacked out turn signals. So I don't know if this is different, if this is going to get the same treatment as like the Patriot Stretch where we'll be able to customize limos in game. That might be interesting. Will we finally be able to store these big giant vehicles? Uh, that would actually be kind of cool. I know that they aren't certainly the most useful. They will definitely be more useful after this update. But it's just something I noticed from these screenshots that maybe the limousines might be customizable uh, when this update does arrive. Moving on to another screenshot, there are a lot of vehicles in this screenshot right here, and I've looked through all of them, and they all look like old vehicles. I think Rockstar did this on purpose. They didn't want to have any new vehicles in these shots right here. Uh, a couple of vehicles in particular that some people are pointing to are these ones that are pulling into the casino right now. Now, those might be new vehicles, but not necessarily new ones that we haven't already looked at. That might be the new Trufade, and it might be uh, like the new Viser or another vehicle, but nothing that they haven't not shown off so far. Uh, like I can see the Z-Type, I can see the Limo, I can see the Futo, the Penumbra, a bunch of old vehicles and the Swift helicopter that is landing on the roof. So nothing new there as far as vehicles go. And then in this part of the trailer right here, we've got the Hunter, which is getting shot at by the Buzzard. And it's following the Swift. So again, nothing new there as far as vehicles go. Those are all old. So quickly wrapping up, what have we seen so far? We have seen five new vehicles. I think two of them are supercars and the rest you could probably call sports cars. That's all we've seen so far. So now I want to talk about a couple of other things, including when these will all be arriving and what the other vehicles will likely look like. So I think that everything we saw in the trailer today, that is going to be arriving on day one. I don't think Rockstar shows off vehicles that won't be available on the first day. So I think that on day one, we will personally be seeing those five new vehicles and they will all be available to purchase. However, I certainly don't believe those will be the only vehicles. However, I do believe that that will give us a better idea of the vehicles that will be added in this update. Supercars, sports cars, luxurious vehicles. Notice in the trailer and in the screenshots, they haven't shown off one weaponized vehicle, which I'm actually kind of glad. I really like that. I'm excited for that. I think we already have plenty in the game. I am hoping that Rockstar add some other types of vehicles, though. I hope it's not just all sports cars and supercars. You know, I'd like some more aircrafts. That would be kind of fun. I'd like some more, you know, fancy luxury SUVs or super nice sedans like the PMP 600 or something fun like that. Now, since we're on the subject of new cars and vehicles, Rockstar Insider Tez Funds 2 decided to chime in and he gave us some more information. Last night, he tweeted lots of new supercars and sports cars in this update, dot, 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 hashtag GTA Online. So that's kind of an ambiguous tweet right there. Like, we don't know if he's seen more cars, if he knows more are coming. Well, he sort of followed up to that tweet on the GTA forum site by posting this. Someone declared that he had only seen the exact same cars that we have, and he quickly declared, no, there's more. And sort of a follow-up to that, he said, you could say this update tops Arena War, After Hours, and Southern San Andreas Super Autos, uh, in terms of both new supercars and sports cars. Wow. So it looks like there's going to be a ton. But let's quickly talk about what else he had to say. He stated, new cars may have some sort of handling flags, or they probably removed them. Regardless, the handling is good. So he knows about the handling of these vehicles. And he follows up by saying, I have a feeling those five cars shown in the trailer may be the only ones we get at launch. 
So let's talk about that. It seems as if, yes, this update is going to be centered around supercars and sports cars, high-end luxury vehicles. It kind of reminds me of a ill-gotten gains part three high life business update just in like a 2019 version. Now he says that the cars are going to have really good handling and that it looks like those five shown off might be the only ones we get at launch, which again is no surprise. Rockstar loves their drip feeding and we know that they need this update to last a significant amount of time longer because of the lack of frequent updates in GTA online. So long story short, if you're a big fan of supercars and sports cars, well, prepare yourself because it looks like we might be getting a ton of them in this DLC. So if I had to take a guess, I would say this update is probably going to have like 17, 18, 19, maybe even 20 vehicles altogether, uh, which I think would be nice if we get five of them on, you know, day one. That gives Rockstar, you know, 13, 14, 15 vehicles to drip feed over the next couple of weeks. And you might be thinking to yourself, that's a lot. Well, remember, we're not getting as many Grand Theft Auto Online updates anymore. So these cars and the content is going to probably have to last us until, you know, November, December, when we'll see the next Grand Theft Auto Online DLC. And that's probably all the cars that Rockstar are going to show off up until the release date. I don't expect that they'll reveal any more information over the weekend or uh, even on Monday before the update comes out. I mean, they already did so much with the trailer and the newswire and the the dedicated website so uh, i would find it pretty hard pressed we would get more vehicle details but anyways that's all the information that i've got for you guys in this video today hopefully you did enjoy let me know in the comments down below which of these vehicles are you most excited for uh, i think i'm excited for the two big time supercars the trufade thrax and the new progen mclaren senna but let me know your thoughts opinions and more in the comments down below i'd love to hear from you guys down there if you did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And remember to subscribe if you guys are new or you want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA 5 Diamond Casino and Resort content. When Tuesday rolls around, we'll be having so much fun with the new Casino and Resort. So if that interests you, be sure to subscribe and also be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work and it's the best way to be notified when new videos are coming about. But anyways, like I said, thank you guys all so much for watching. Take care. And I'll see you guys in the next video.